This is Adel Gasly. I'm going to present to you part two of the chapter about synchronous machines. In this part, I will cover the construction of the synchronous machines. A synchronous machine is a doubly excited machine. It consists of a stator and a rotor. It's stator which holds a three-phase AC windings and a laminated magnetic core is also called the armature, while the rotor hosts a DC winding for generating a constant magnetic field in the rotor. Based on the rotor structure, we can distinguish two types of synchronous machines. Cylindrical or round rotor types, which are used for high-speed applications, these have usually long but thin shafts. The second type is salient pole rotor types, which are used for low-speed applications. These have usually short but thick shafts. The salient pole structure cannot rotate at very high speed because of high windage losses created by wind friction effect. These are two examples of salient pole types synchronous machines construction. The one on the left hand side is a two pole salient pole machine and the one on the right hand side is a four pole salient pole machine. More details about each component of uh, the synchronous machine will be covered in the next slides. The stator of a synchronous machine is identical to that of an induction machine where three phase windings are placed in slots cut on the inner surface of the stator. The ends of these windings can be connected in star or delta to form a three-phase connection. These windings are fed from a three-phase power supply, AC power supply. The stator is known as the armature. These figures show an example of stator of a large hydro generator. Notice how big could be these machines. This stator is very large but very short because of low speed of rotation of the salient pole rotor. This figure shows an example of a four salient pole rotor with DC excitation winding and slip rings. The fan is used for cooling purpose. The field winding terminals are usually connected to slip rings on which brushes are placed in order to inject DC current into the field winding. However, some other designs do not use the brush slip ring assemblies to avoid sparks and maintenance. These are called brushless machines. This photo shows a large cylindrical rotor. You can notice the difference in the length compared to the salient pore rotors. The long and thin one is used to ha for high speed applications such as steam generators while the short rotor is used for low speed applications such as hydropower generation. This is an example of a brushless exciter system where the power is fed to the motor through a rotating transformer. An AC power is injected into the stationary exciter. This power is transferred to the exciter rotor then rectified using a diode bridge. The rotating exciter is mounted on the same shaft as the rotor of the synchronous machine so that the output of the rectifier can be directly fed and connected to the field winding. This movie describes the manufacturing, construction and assembly of the different parts of a synchronous machine. The link to this movie can be found in the description below. This movie is 11 minutes long and has no sound.
This is the end of this part. Thank you for watching this video.